हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी थॉट ऑफ डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज टेम्पोरली स्लाइड प्रिपरेशन एज यू नो देर आर थ्री चॉइसेस इन दैट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन नो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दैट इज टी एस ऑफ ओवरी सो फॉर टी एस ऑफ ओवरी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज हाई बिस्कस फ्लार फर्स्ट यू नीड टू रिमूव द डिफरेंट ओरल्स ऑफ द फ्लार दैट इज नो आई एम रिमूविंग द पेटल्स द करोला पोर्शन and also we are not interested in calyx where i am removing the sepals also then we need to trace the stigma style and ovary so that also we are not interested we are just want the ovary portion so i hope now you could see the ovary so after tracing the ovary what you need to do is you need to cut off a small portion of the ovary so later you can take a thin section of this hibiscus ovary wherein you need to mount it on the slide and the slide must be having at least one or two drops of water on it so here for this question so you need to mount this particular slide using simple microscope or dissection microscope you are not supposed to go with compound microscope so once you prepare the slide so you can show it to the examiner using dissection microscope what you can look into it so here you could able to see penta locular condition and axile placentation i hope you could able to visualize this so five chambers are there those chambers are called as locules so that you need to report wherein you are going to write it as penta locular ovary and also axile placentation for this you are going to get Five marks, three marks for slide preparation and two marks for reporting the same. Now let us continue with another question. So wherein you are going to prepare a slide for pollen germination. So for pollen germination, the source flower we are using that is Vinca rosea. So here also you need to remove the all the petals. and you know where the anthers are located this is the area what i am showing here the anthers are situated there are different techniques to exploit this pollen grains so very first thing i am showing a simple technique so since we know that here are the pollen grains you can just dust like this like nan ig en madta idini just i am tapping e tip portion towards the alva where the pollens are located so at a portion i am just tapping on the slide so that you can notice the pollen that are dusted over here i think now you can notice this right so this is one method and there is one more method i am showing it using another flower so again the same thing we can remove off all the petals so using needle you can trace the area where this anthers are situated okay so once you cut open this so here you could see this sagittate anthers arrow shaped anthers so this you can just smash over the slide so when you smash it like this you could able to see the deposition of pollen grains over the slide this is another technique any easy technique you can follow and once you dust the pollen grains on the slide you can put this sucrose solution over the area where you have dusted the pollen grains see germination if you consider it varies and it depends on different factors like climatic conditions and all 
so for that reason generally we say uh, 20 to 30 minutes is required for colon germination uh, so if you allow for such duration of time definitely few of the pollen grains will undergo germination here you need to apply a formula that is n by n into 100 to calculate the percentage of pollen germination where the small n is the number of pollen grains germinated and capital N represent the total number of pollen grains. So in different conditions uh, the pollen will undergo germination. So you can calculate and mention the total number of germinated pollen grains using the formula that I explained just now and you know how to put the table and all. Now we will focus and show you how many pollen grains are germinated. Actually here we are not giving time for germination. So we will just show you how the pollen grains will appear. So see how I am putting the cover slip. So I am just using a needle. So at one end I am holding my finger and you must gradually leave this cover slip. So if you do like this uh, the air bubbles will not enter into it. Excess you can blot and you can focus it under the compound microscope wherein you could able to see the pollen grains. Uh, students, now you could able to see around 7 pollen grains in this microscopic field. This is how they look. Okay. Hmm. Okay, students. Now we will move on to the third question. Another choice that is nuclear staining. So, nuclear staining is done specially to absorb the nucleus. So, here we are using this acetocarmine or acetoarsine stain for the staining of nucleus. The material what we are using is onion peel. So you need to take a small piece of onion. So here for peeling you can use both inner and outer surface. So inner peel will be like this. So inner peel will be like this. I think you can see and don't take this much of peel a little amount is enough if you take a lengthy peel what will happen see what happened now it will fold so that is not a good preparation so take a small piece then your slide will be good so outer peel See, I hope you can see this. This is the outer peel. So, outer or inner peel. Huh? So, you must take a small amount. A short piece is enough. See what I am doing. So, I will just tear it off using the blade. If it folds also, you can spread it using the brush. Okay. It's folding again. Like this you can spread using the brush and later for this you need to put this stain. Which stain is this? Acetocarmine stain which is an acidic stain specially used for staining nucleus. So now I am putting the stain and we must leave it for 5 minutes and later you can put the cover slip and observe it under microscope. So now I will mount the slide using the cover slip in the same way what I did for pollen germination. Okay. 
let me allow it for few minutes so that it can absorb the slide and i will show you how does it look under the microscope so again the same method of mounting so now i am putting the cover slip for this onion peel for nucleus stigmi for this question what you need to write you need to mention the shape of the cell that is rectangular in shape and number of nucleus how many nucleus will be there one nucleus right one nucleus per cell peripheral in position but you need to just report the shape of the cell that is rectangular in shape and number of nucleus that is one nucleus per cell for slide preparation 3 marks and for reporting you get another 2 marks total 5 marks so this is how you need to follow the procedure for all the three options for question number 1 that is preparation a we call this spotter as a i hope your doubts are cleared now so this is how the nucleus staining is done and the nucleus picks up the stain and the rectangular shaped cells appear in this way